WPP. This section is called The Ego, Our Worst Enemy or a Friend on Our Journey. VI, The Ego, Our Worst Enemy or a Friend on Our Journey. Another subject we hear about when we look into the world of New Agers, but even amongst truth seekers in general, is the ego. We are not supposed to have an ego, and albeit everybody has one, we need to work hard to get rid of it. This misconception, I believe, comes from the terms STO, service to others, and SDS, service to self, which also are mentioned frequently in the raw material, but also in the Cassiopeian project and others. People get very anxious about not filling the quota, i.e. to become 51% STO or more, in order to qualify for the positive harvest, therefore, they want to quickly get rid of the ego. They think that the ego has to do only with self-centeredness and SDS. An ego-centered thought can be a big deal for a new ager and can cause stress and anxiety. I want to lighten that burden right away from people who might have misunderstood this. The ego is needed and represents our ability to use our will so we can affect and maneuver the world around us. It's also about self-confidence. An ego that is not misused and not puffed up in order to make oneself seem more important than others is a dear friend on our journey. It has to do with self-trust, the ability to withstand attacks, and the knowingness that you can ride out storms on your route. Here on Earth we live in a dualistic reality, right, wrong, black, white, good, evil, and so on. This is not a natural way of looking at things, but it serves the alien invader force very well because it turns people against each other, and the AIF can trigger one side of a duality to get an effect from the other side of it. It's well planned. As long as we have to deal with duality, we need a strong ego so we can use our intuition and stand by what we know is right. People with weak egos constantly change their minds when outside pressure becomes too strong for them. The ego is also a part of our personality. It is not the personality, but we could say that the ego is a big part of the conscious mind, the part of the mind which is operating in the visible spectrum of the universe. It's when the ego wants to dominate others to get what it wants that it becomes destructive. We say that the person is egocentric, egoistic, egotistic, or selfish. The mix-up here is that in some aspects of the New Age movement, everything having to do with ego is bad, and therefore, we need to let the whole concept of ego first diminish and then disappear. The belief is then that one becomes much more spiritual and able to connect with the universal consciousness, where everything is one, and ego does not exist. Again, if we want to really go to the bottom of things, we can say that we are all one because everything is connected. The fingers are connected to the hand, the hand is connected to the arm, the arm to the body, the body to the fire, the fire to the oversoul, and eventually, what is you on a larger scale is connected with the divine feminine because she created you outside of time, which makes you part of her, as you are part of the spiritual universe, dark energy. Our focus, however, is not to become one, but to stay separate and explore life with a capital L. Is the purpose for us to ever become one? I think I can safely say that no one really knows, not even most beings outside the earth realm. It is because the purpose is totally independent from time and dimensions, which are cornerstones for the fire to explore creation and to become creator gods goddesses themselves. We are using the dimensions and densities to create life in the universe, and we are using dimensions and densities to explore what we created and to play with it. This is something we can learn to do in what I call the universities out there in cosmos. In some universities, we can learn how to be a creator god, and in other universities we may be able to learn how to build our own energy in order to master shape-shifting, nano-travel, and whatever else we need and want to learn when it comes to our own energy and the power we can gain from it, etc.